Do you want to launch your own SaaS product? Well, I got a great news for you because I'm launching Word's Best AI SaaS Kit. The name of this SaaS Kit is Best SaaS Kit. This SaaS Kit is packed with features, every single possible feature that you'll ever need, you'll get in this SaaS Kit. You know the amazing thing? This SaaS Kit is completely open source and 100% for free. I'm launching this SaaS Kit for my YouTube community because I see a lot of you guys struggle to build your full stack software applications. So this full stack AI SaaS Kit has every single possible feature that you'll ever need in your software product. There is a fully functional backend and database system that I built using Neon.Tech and you can use Neon.Tech 100% for free. Then we have the complete email system, the transaction emails for your software and for emails we are using recent and of course you can use recent 100% for free the most important thing is your super admin dashboard now you can manage your complete software all of your users at one place this is your super admin dashboard where you can track all of your data all of your analytics all of your users all at one place we also integrated AI through open router so there is a fully functional AI chatbot inside this SaaS product there is also a fully functional credit system so whenever any user signs up they are assigned 10 credits and now every time your user will use an AI functionality it will cost them one credit this is just for the proof of concept you can decide how you want to manage credits for your own software then there is this very detailed documentation that you can use to set up your SaaS kit you might be thinking that why I'm launching this product absolutely for free well, there are a lot of SaaS kits out there and they are charging like hundreds of dollars. I mean, software developers and programmers are in worst financial condition these days. So I just cannot charge anything from my fellow software developers. So that's why last year in December, I launched this first version of SaaS kit. This was also a completely free and open source SaaS kit. So now after eight months, I'm just launching a much better version of our SaaS kit. And this version has so many extra features that the previous version did not have. The most important feature that I added in this version, which was not in the previous version, is the super admin feature. So now you as a SaaS owner can set up everything and manage everything from your super admin dashboard. So let's just dive deep and let me just show you that how you can set up everything for this project. By the way, everything in the documentation section is already self-explanatory, but still in this video, I'll give you a detailed walkthrough that how you can set up everything to start using this SaaS kit. So before you start, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on that like button as well. All right, so to start using this SaaS kit, just go to bestsaskit.com. Just go to this link or just click on the link in description. And after that, this landing page will open. You can see this is like a really nice, high quality landing page. By the way, you'll get this landing page inside the source code. Here even you can see I created this nice looking image as well for you guys to like understand the complete tech stack that we are using inside this SaaS kit. So you can see we are using Next.js, we are using Tailwind, CSS. We are also using ChatCN as well and recent to manage emails, Stripe for billing and payments, sign in with Google. This is the standard Google Cloud sign in and then of course super admin dashboard and also the integration with open router. So first let's just sign in and let me just show you all of the features that we have built in this project. So let me just click on the sign in button and then it will open a Google sign in screen. Right now you can see I just signed in and I just signed in using this email address. So whenever a new user will sign in, they will get 10 credits. So now if I just go to this AI chat section, you can see this AI chat bot is already in here and I have got 10 credits. Let me just ask it one question. So I'm just going to ask a very simple question from this AI chat bot. By the way, right now we are using Quen 3 235B. You can use any other AI model. I'll guide you in a second that how you can use any other AI model. So let me just press enter. So now Quen 3 will respond us. So the capital of UK is London and now you can see it has just responded us. If I just refresh now and you can see our credits are nine now. So one credit is deducted because we just like used AI for one time. This is just to give an idea that how you can use a credit system. You can implement this credit system the way you want. Also, if you log in using your admin email, right now you can see I'm logged in with my admin email. So this is my admin email. I'm logged in using my admin email and I can access my admin dashboard right now. So now I can manage all of my users. So right now you can see my SaaS has got four users and I can find all of these email addresses from all of these different users. In fact, I can see when each of these users actually signed up on this platform. There is this analytics dashboard and from here I can track all of my analytics and all of my data from here. So I can see how much total revenue my product has earned. In my case it's zero. Also I can see how many total users there are, how many pro users there are, what's the growth rate, how many total credits have been assigned to all of the users, how many active users there are, what is the retention rate. All of this you can track inside this super admin dashboard. Now let's just have a look at this cool thing which is user management. From here you can remove any of your users and in fact you can add or remove any of the credits from here. So you can 
see right now or this user had nine credits because this user consumed one credit so this user has right now nine credits so if i just like click on this edit button and if i just like assign this user maybe 50 credits and i just like click on add credit and now you can see this user will have 50 credits in total so right now it has 59 because 9 from previously and 50 more credits were assigned to this user so now let's just go back to this user let me just refresh and you can see total credits 59 so i just like added credits from the admin dashboard and now i can see that user has got 59 credits so that means our backend is fully functional our database is fully functional and you as the super admin can manage all of your users you can add or remove any credits from any of your users now let's just test this billing and payment section and in here you can see there is this upgrade to pro option so if i just click on that it will just load a stripe checkout page so this is our stripe checkout page now users can pay directly with link or they can just like enter their credit card informations in here and then simply just click on pay and then they can pay for your pro subscription so you can just explore all of these features by yourself and you can just test this product by yourself now let me just quickly guide you that how you can set up this project locally on your computer and then how you can just like start customizing it i have created a very detailed documentation for this that how you can set up this project by yourself but let me just walk you through with all of the steps that how you can quickly set up this project and then set up all of the environment variables and then start using this project so if you just go back to bestsaskit.com and now if you just click on uh, slash DOCS just open docs folder so this is our docs page and in here you can see there is a very detailed documentation for this and all of the prerequisites and everything is mentioned in here there is a complete installation guide there is a complete setup guide there is a complete guide that how you can create api keys and then set up everything inside your environment variables but let me just quickly walk you through all of these different steps and then guide you how you can set up this so if you just click on this view on github button it will open this github page this is our github repository in here and here even on this github repository there is everything in detail you can just find all of the setup guide in here on this github repository as well so to clone this github repository the process is very simple you can just like copy the url of this github repository after that just like open any of your folder on your computer so i've just got this empty folder on my computer i'll just right click uh, click on this open in terminal and now i'll just run this command which is git clone then paste that link from that github repository press enter and now it will clone this github repository and you can see this folder best sas git version 2 so this is the github repository that we just cloned now you can just like directly open this inside your ai code editor you can use something like cursor or windsurf this is completely your choice what sort of ai code editor you want to use you can use maybe something like cursor or windsurf or something like augment code or something like Klein or rook code or something like kilo code i'm using augment code you can use Klein or rook code or just like use any other ai AI code editor the easiest and simplest way for you if you are a non-programmer and non-coder for you the best possible way is you just like copy the link of the github repository and then you can just like provide it to your ai code editor and then ask your ai code editor to clone this github repository for you your ai code editor will do everything for you if you don't want to interact with code at all so your ai code editor will manage everything for you just for your ease let me just quickly show you that how you can now open this inside your ai code editor so let's suppose right now i have this vs code and i can simply just click on this open folder and now i can just like paste my this folder url i can simply just click on select folder and now i can see my project has been opened in here and now the first thing that you should do right after you open this inside your ai code editor or any sort of like code editor just install all of the dependencies or either you can just like ask your ai code editor to do that for you so you can just run this command which is npm install or you can just like follow the instructions from this documentation page so you can just like go to the documentation page and now you can just like go to this installation tab so you can see this is the command that you need to install all of your dependencies so i'll just press enter now it will just install all of the dependencies for this project right now you can see all of the dependencies are installed now the next step is to set up your environment variables to do that you can see there is this dot env dot example file in here so if you just open that there is everything in here very self-explanatory you can see you need to provide some details in here the first thing that you need to provide is from google oauth configuration for that you need to sign up for google cloud console so you can just type on google google cloud console and then open this link and now you can just like sign up for google cloud console 
So once you will open Google Cloud Console, now you can just like create a new project in here. Simply just click on this new project and then it will create a new project for you and this is how it will look like. Next up will be you can now just go to APIs and services section and from here you can just like go to your credentials section and then you can just set up your credentials in here. You will need two sort of keys from here. One is Google Client ID and the another one Google Client Secret. So just copy those keys from there and then paste those keys in here. You can see the detailed step by step process is mentioned in here. If you will face any sort of issues, I will create a separate video where I will just like do hands on training if you don't know how to set up these things. So I will just create a separate video for that. But for now, you can just like follow these guidelines from documentation and try to do it yourself. The next thing that you need to do, you need to just sign up on neon.tech. Again, you can do it 100% for free. And after that, you need to just create a new project on neon.tech and then provide this database URL from neon.tech. To do that, you can just like go to neon.tech and from there you can just like click on sign up and you can just like sign up using your Google account. I already have an account. I'll just click on login and now you can see this is the neon.tech dashboard. Currently, I'm on the free plan. You don't need to pay for anything for neon.tech. That's the beautiful thing about neon.tech that you don't need to provide anything in here. You can just like click on this new project and now you can just like create a new project and then it will give you a connection string. So once you'll create a new project on neon.tech, now you can just like go to this connect button in here and from here you can just like click on this copy snippet. Now you can just paste this entire thing inside your environment variables in here inside this database URL. The next thing is setting up your billing through Stripe. So for that you should have a Stripe account. Just go to stripe.com. So just go to stripe.com then open Stripe. And now you can just like go to the dashboard. I'm just using this test part account to give you a demo. So you can just like go to your API key section inside Stripe. From here, just copy this publish key and then also secret key as well. And then paste both of these keys in here inside this publish key. Just enter it here. And then inside the secret key, just enter your secret key as well. Next thing that you need is webhook secret. For that, you can just like go to your webhook section. And from here, you can just like add a new endpoint. Simply just click on that, add a new endpoint. Now you can just like add your own original endpoint URL in here. If you don't have a domain name, you can just like use your localhost URL. If you already have a domain name, then you can just like provide an endpoint URL, something like this. So just your domain name slash API slash stripe slash webhook. So just provide your endpoint just like this. Once you'll create your endpoint, now just go to your signing secret section in here. Then simply just click on this reveal button. Then it will provide you a key. Just copy that key from there and then paste that key inside the Stripe secret key. The next thing is providing an open router API key. This is to use AI model. So you can just like go to open router, just sign up using your Google account. Just go to your key section from here. Just create an API key, copy that API key from here and then paste that API key inside in here inside open router. Now you need to decide which AI model you are going to use. In my case, I'm using Quen3. If you want to use any other AI model, something like maybe Gemini Flash. So you can just like open that model and then copy this model ID from here. Just copy it as it is and then paste that inside in here. The next thing that you need to provide is your recent API key. So just go to recent.com. Just go to recent and then after that simply just sign up. So you can sign up on recent absolutely for free. Then you can just like go to your API key section and from here just click on create an API key. Then it will allow you to create an API key. Just copy that API key and then paste that API key inside in here inside your environment variables. And the final thing setting up your admin emails. You can just provide any email address in here and whenever you log in with that email address, it will be counted as your admin email and then it will allow you to access your admin dashboard. So this was it. This is how easy and simple it is to set up this project. You can just follow the detailed documentation and then set up all of these different API keys step by step one by one. Once everything is set up and your project is running on localhost, now you can just like ask your AI code editor to like make any certain changes. Whatever idea you have, just ask your AI code editor to now use this template and build that idea on top of it. You won't have to build everything from scratch because now you got this complete fully functional template. Now you'll be building on top of it. So this way you just saved hundreds of hours of work and you just like built and now it is way more easier for you to develop your next million dollar idea. I'll create more in-depth videos about this template. Just let me know in the comment section what sort of videos do you want about this template. I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.